Hey YouTube, it's Lewis with Rosebud's Travels. And today I'm going to show you how to install one of these fans that goes in a an absorption fridge. I'm going to put it in my Dometic 4 cubic foot fridge. This summer we took a trip and it was really hot in a lot of the places. And we found that the refrigerator had a hard time keeping stuff cool. But the freezer worked fine. And apparently yeah, that's pretty uh, common with absorption fridges. Uh, because of the way the fridge works, it really doesn't distribute the air. has a hard time in really hot weather getting the cold to distribute around the refrigerator. So... This company, Beach Lane, makes this fan, and it clips onto the fins in the refrigerator and moves the air around, and it's supposed to help quite a bit. So, in the instructions of this, it says, hook up to the light of your refrigerator, or feed it through the back of the fridge and hook it to the power wire and ground wire. So... Let's take a look at what we've got. In our fridge, we don't have a light. And the only place there's a hole in the back of the fridge is where that thermistor wire goes through. And there's a little grommet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the grommet out enlarge the hole a little bit and then I'm going to put my wire through there and then we'll find the hot and negative wire and hook it up. So that's what we're going to do. I took out the grommet in the back of the refrigerator with a small pick and uh, I'm going to drill this hole out to enlarge it to be able to handle both wires that so the therm thermistor wire plus the fan wire going to go through this little grommet and then I'll put this back. Okay, I'm going to take off the lower section of the refrigerator and you turn these a quarter of a turn to where they're up and then you pull out the bottom one and then there's the bottom of the refrigerator and I got my tester and I have it set to DC and I suspect that these are the 12 volt wires so I'm going to test them and sure enough, they are 12 volts. And that's the hot. As I put the positive to here and the ground to there, which is a ground, the metal ground, and I was getting 12 volts. So this is definitely, this is the power wire, comes through the wall. So what I'm going to wind up doing, I think this is a good place to connect that in. And let me see where my wires are. Yeah, so my 
thinking is I'm going to hook it up somewhere right. I'm going to hook it up with these wires, I think, right here. I think that would be a good place to put them in. So it's a screw terminal, and I can put it up next to that. That will get me power to my fan. So I'm going to undo that breaker for the 12 volt and then I'll hook it up. I'm gonna disconnect the fuse for the 12 volt side of the refrigerator and I looked on my list and the refrigerator is number two. So I'm gonna pull the fuse, the 15 amp fuse for the refrigerator and then that'll just cut the power for the 12 volt side of the refrigerator. Okay. I pulled the fuse, I'm going to check it, yep, no power, Let's see if this thing will fit. Okay, I've hooked it up. I'm gonna go test it to see if it works. And then I'm gonna coil this wire up and uh, zip tie it to the other wires. And then install. Okay, I plugged the fuse back in, check to make sure the fan works and it does. And I hooked it up to the fins in the, on the refrigerator and I'll show you that. And I'm gonna wrap this up and put a zip tie to hold these cords kinda neatly tied up. And that's, then we're gonna be done. And I'll show you what the fan looks like on the inside. Okay, we got the fan going. I got it attached to the fins 
they have little alligator clamps that uh, you uh, put to the fins and the fan is running now it has a little switch up here and you can turn it off and on and um, and it's only uh, if they recommend using it when it's really hot outside and the fridge is having trouble uh, keeping temperature when it's not you don't need to leave it on so you can turn it off so and it has a little screw connector here it's a it plugs and screws to lock it in place so that's the installation of the beach lane refrigerator fan see you in the next video one more thing about the fridge video uh, the wiring the fan uh, be sure and put the grommet back so and I, I did that now so the grommets back so that's what it looks like with the fan running.